gotta love the four and five inch angle grinders. Hi, and welcome to my garage. In this episode, we're not working on the milling machine, but um, uh, looking at making the uh, headstock adjustable or uh, being able to align the headstock with the bedways rather than uh, the um, uh, groping in the dark method that uh, the machine has. These, uh, th these holes in this bracket, by the way, are um, for the <coughs> adjustment screws that I will be putting in through here onto the head, uh, to the headstock itself. And um, What I plan on doing is coming in from underneath about here, drilling a hole through the base and into the headstock and pegging that and then these two screws will move the headstock um, left or right, backwards or forwards depending on which way you look at it. But um, a small mistake I made was just a moment ago was um, I was supposed to leave this hole at drilling size and I didn't I took it out to um, five mil but I've already pre center punched this and it looks like like unbelievably yes my marking out or more to the point my center punching is spot on well both of them are spot on I'll remove that bracket before I uh, run the drill through and then you know what it's like get through the other side push too hard goes down some Chuck hits the angle bracket and breaks the breaks the drill. Done it too many times. Fit. <laughs> it's got to come off of course to drill these two holes.
these were going to be M6s, but um, silly me drilled them out to 6mm. Uh, I then had to uh, draw it out for M8s. Doesn't matter. I'll just trim these corners off, make it look pretty, and um, then we can fit it up. Put a, uh, a bar down the uh, in the centre of the uh, spindle we'll chuck it up and then check its uh, its alignment all right Just marking on top here where the uh, the web is underneath. So I'll know to clear, keep clear. Whoops! Stupid. I'll know to keep clear with with the drill in this area. Otherwise, I'll snap a drill bit. See, we'll go another four millimeters, thirteen point six, and roughly in the middle, just to. Well, it's not going to make it look nice, is it? Won't see it. Well, we've got uh, close enough to sixty-five, thirty-two and a half. Out there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a uh, there's a stain here of where the um, <coughs> the head the headstock is hollow. So I know by the shiny part that I'll be uh, in the main thick casting. Unfortunately, I can't drill up from the bottom into the headstock, the um, the leg of the lathe itself itself gets in the way. Not to worry. Well, didn't break it.
Stupid Chinese bolts. 13 mil, not 12. 13 mil. Keep the Imperial boys happy, even though they're metric threads. Okay, I've got a um, <coughs> uh, a pin in the in the chuck, and I'm just checking the spindle alignment. Minus two, minus three. What have we got? Uh, minus ten. Plus five. So that's, <coughs> that's minus five. So two and a half. We'll come back. Okay, looks like I've eventually got there. So we're running one thou out there. So that's half a thou. One thou, split it over, it's half a thou. That's the theory anyhow. So um, we'll lock this we'll lock this down and we'll find out when we uh, turn up a bit of steel. <coughs> 